This is an incoming transmission from the Jersey Shore. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, powered by McLean Advisory Group. Today you'll hear some of the most important financial information and wealth building techniques available anywhere. Let's get this party started, huh? Do you have a question for Scott and the team? Am I, am I, am I on the air? 609-488-4646. That's 609 609- 488-4646. We'll get that information to them by radio. Now, Financial Insanity with Scott McLean. Well, finally, some good news when it comes That's to the time. economy, Scott. Some positive oh trends the That's final weeks. Here. Hell yeah, baby. And so <laughs> numbers look a little bit better, but does that really mean we're out of the woods? And how does it look uh, for people in 2023 that might be wanting to retire? Going to talk about that and more. It is Financial Insanity. I'm Alex Dingman, along with Scott McLean. And Scott, you're going to be providing us some great information for folks who are thinking, okay, what do the end of the year numbers look like? What does it look like for next year? We're also going to be talking about keys to a comfortable retirement on today's show and wrapping it up with five signs that it could be time to fire your advisor. And remember, folks, if you hear something, it resonates with you, or if you have more questions, you can always call Scott, 609 488 4646 609 488 4646 that is scott mclean mclean tax and advisory group scott we've been hearing about a recession coming but now we're seeing a little improvement 2.9 percent growth of the gdp in the third quarter what does this mean should we stop worrying about a recession impacting our retirement scott well, they're looking to change this. Uh, obviously, the printing, they're slowing down on printing money, but that hasn't really taken into effect yet. Uh, should you worry about it? Well, you should really put a game plan together. You think about the statements I'm hearing on both sides of the fence that pretty much it might be mild recession. I have a different take on it, not to scare anybody, so I don't want you guys to start drinking your spiked eggnog right now. But what I don't want to happen, you think about could, the, could it be a mild recession Uh, I think the former Boston Fed president, uh, Eric, was saying there was a couple areas. But I'm looking at something else. So this is not a time, again, to set it and forget it. And quite frankly, really paying attention, we see interest rates going up uh, right around the corner. I think it'll be this week. uh, Hasn't announced it yet as of this recording time. But the Fed will probably change it to 50 basis points. Right now, what that means really is 0.75 has been the rate increases. That's the fastest since, uh, oh my gosh, uh, many, many, many years. And so we're looking at it. And so the challenge is if they start to reduce it to 0.5, not 0.75 coming up, I believe long-term interest rates are going to start to drop. I hope I'm wrong for those seniors who are depending on income for life. Maybe you're planning on uh, about to retire. Where should you go? This is a time people want to give our studios a call or call your advisor because this would be a good time to lock in some, you know, some fixed rates. I've seen some fixed rates out there, Alex, uh, around five and a half to almost 6% fixed for a uh, five to six, seven years. And uh, that would be a great period to lock it in at this point for no risk. So uh, that could be a great tool. Imagine $100,000, you're getting $5,000 a year or more, depending how much you put in. But is recession, well, it could be mild. But then on the other side of the coin, we see it's hard to hire people. I think that's going to kick in as you start to see the economy slow down. But Alex, I don't know about you, what you're hearing, because I know you work with other advisors, the labor market, obviously, uh, the wages have grown to 5.2% annually, of course, in October which is well above the 3.5 that the Fed was predicting. And, of course, the uh, return on inflation, you take out 2%. So it could be really exciting for new employees, but could that change in another four, five, six months from now? Imagine, Alex, you get hired today and and the boss either lays you off in six months or maybe you don't get a pay raise. I I think this is... I couldn't imagine that happening to me, Scott. I mean, I'll try to imagine that, but... You're out in the middle of nowhere, so they got (laughs) to hire you. I mean, there's no... You're you're like the best guy in the world out there. You're you're neck of the woods, but you get over here in Jersey, man. I'm telling you something. uh, To hire somebody, great. Uh, People have been sitting on the couch. It's crazy, and it's uh, hard. So is it time 
to set and set and forget, as I said earlier, no. But I'm also looking at something else, Alex, that maybe people aren't thinking about. I look at other the other signs that the world is headed for a recession. So it's not just hmm. the USA. Yeah. USA, we've got the, you know, you look about the United States, Alex, I don't know if you're looking at these numbers, but we do all the time when we're investing. And you look at the U.S. economy plays really an outstanding role when it comes to global economic and international finance. And right now, it's the stronger than it's been in two decades. And the simple explanation comes back to the Fed as the dollar. So the dollar's getting strengthened over here. So if you want to go on a traveling trip, it's time to go overseas because our dollar is worth more money. But could that change? We also, another indication we think the driver of the world, this large economy, uh, and you think of the United States, of course, uh, in China, these decisions and discussions are really, really critical to pay attention to. So when we invest money, when people call us, Scott, where do you think should we change our allocation? Yes, it's not time to sit on your laurels, as I said so many times. And Alex, we've been doing this together for some time right now. And uh, Americans need to tighten their belts. You really need to tighten your belts and really uh, pay attention to your dollar. Don't go crazy spending money, even though you might have a lot of extra money. Because I can tell you, the bear market could come and attack all of us. Make a sound a bear market roar. That's right. The bear market could come into bear meaning, Alex, the market starts to drop. You see, bears kill, they swipe down. Could the market have more drops? And I think this is what people need to have this serious discussion. It's not set it and forget it. It's not hang in there. Don't worry. It'll come back. Well, if you're young, it's time to dollar cost average big time. I really believe that. But if you're older, I think it's time to really buckle down because we have the, the war of soaring prices, the radical political issues that are going on. It's really, really uh, challenging, Alex. That's a long answer for this well, no, very, very in-depth subject. No, it's important. And uh, you mentioned tightening the belts. I think that's going to work financially for folks. But during the holidays, Scott, we all know that the belt is, is going to be bursting at the seams with all the great food. You're right. Overall. And I think that's so I, I think we have to, you, we got to be careful. Right. Yeah. People are going to use their credit card more than ever. Credit cards rates are jumping. And then here it is the, the month of uh, uh, February, 2023, when now the bills are coming due and you're saying, Oh my gosh, I either got laid off or maybe my, my monthly income is not covering it to so be very cautious. I think now's the time to really have a, you know, kids, we need to hunker down this year and maybe we're not going to spend as much money. Um, and I'm as, as frugal as anybody listening to me. If you've, when you're Jewish and Scottish, you're very cheapish. You're very frugal. And, and I don't mean to pull the, uh, the uh, aspects of my heritage, but I can tell you it's time to really, really make the decisions. And the, the two letter cuss word probably needs to come out, which is no. Hmm. And that's or a three letter, three letter cuss word. Wait. Yeah. Or actually, yes, four oh, that's four, but that's fine. <laughs> we'll, we'll let it slide, you know, that's right. and, and Scott, you know, I, it, very important. And it's one of those things. If you have questions, end of the year planning, budgeting for 2023, another one of those dirty words, you can give Scott a call. If you have questions, the number oh, is yeah. 609 488 4646 609 you mentioned uh, spiked eggnog earlier. I'm more of a hot toddy guy, <laughs> or maybe some peppermint schnapps. You know that well, that can always be good. And we don't want to give bad well. people. Then you know you guys out there listening, you right there listening. We don't want to give you bad news. It's just giving no. you heads up news. I think the biggest challenge is, you know, when you hear something, you kind of put it on your shoulders and you forget about it. I mean, one day you're feeling sick, and the next day you can't even get out of bed, like the COVID happened to me. But but again, this could be a this could be a process, as I believe the upshot of all this recession could be, and it's already predicted that it could be a challenge in 2023. So you definitely want to make sure your money is in good places of those people that are in retirement or nearing retirement. For those of you that are younger, it's really time to keep investing on a monthly basis because you're going to be able to catch the upswing when the market turns around doing dollar cost averaging. It works. It always has. So give give me a call off the airs if you'd like to speak to me about this. 609-488-4646. Just add a .com for the website. Scott, you know, timing so important for people. I, I heard uh, a lady the other day, why are you still working here at the pharmacy? I thought you were going to retire this year. And she says, well, after this year, I got three more years of working. <laughs> 
And it's just, it's tough, you know, the timing of everything when it comes to the markets. What, what are some things you can do, Scott? If, if somebody's out there, they're thinking, man, I want to retire in 2023, but I just don't know. Or maybe somebody's thinking, I don't know when I, it's a good time to retire. What, what do you tell somebody that's preparing? You know, Alex, I came back from the uh, flight last night. I came out to visit a wonderful group uh, that teaches you a whole great, great teaching session. And of course, uh, luckily I had someone drive me. So like a limousine driver, or maybe for some of you, they call it an Uber driver. When I pay somebody to do a job, like drive me to the airport or take me home, I want a smooth ride. I don't care how fast I get there or how slow I get. I know I need to get there on a specific time. Can you get me there? Number one. Number two, I don't want someone speeding and slowing down, speeding and slowing down, like the sewing machine, up and down and up and down, like crazy foot pedaling. You know what I'm talking about, Alex? Oh, yeah. It just drives me crazy. I want a smooth ride. Of course. I don't care if they go 100 miles an hour or 20 miles an hour. Just give me a smooth ride, come to ride, get me there, and make it safe. That's the stock market. I want someone, and I hope those of you listening, you have somebody that are paying attention to the economic times. They're making shift in the portfolio. So if you're about to plan to retire, as Alex mentioned, this is the time to really look at your money, Social Security, your tax return, your investments. How are they positioned? Are they positioned where you can retire with a stress-free retirement, not a stressful retirement? I just had a, a lovely client uh, and her husband uh, just leave me. And last year we were talking to them and had a great meeting and they just sold their farm and now they're living high on the hog. And of course I, I look at them, I said, boy, you look great. They said, Scott, the outside of the book looks good. It's the inside. I have stage four cancer just 10 minutes ago, Alex, before you called me. And so I'm dealing with different types of planning, whether you're in retirement and you're about to retire or you're about to retire, you're planning to retire. This is a time to review often, not just one time and you're setting and forgetting. I keep telling people that. And in their case, now that they are transitioning, hopefully they'll get a beta testing and they'll get a different program that they'll be able to um, hopefully get some more time on his life. It doesn't look good. They look great on the outside. He would never known. But this is not a time to guess. I call it the wing it plan because when it comes to retirement, it's not as easy as dollar cost averaging. You just put it in the market and keep putting it in. When it comes to retirement, you've got a lot of arrows facing at you that you don't look at. And when you've been doing this as long as we have at our McLean advisory group right here in Waretown, New Jersey, you know, this is the kind of have a come in and discuss it. Or maybe your lights are twinkling. In other words, you're, you're about to go through dementia, Alzheimer's. Maybe you've got a family. This is a time to get in with somebody and to discuss how the pullout is going to be reverse dollar cost averaging. We've been speaking about that for years on the radio show versus dollar cost averaging. And when you're pulling money out, Alex, this is not a time. Can you retire? I'll never tell people right off the bat. Yes. Even if you're a multimillionaire, because everybody's goals are different in the case today, their goals changed overnight. Hmm. So for those who are listening that are about to retire, please, if you want a second opinion, that's what smart people do. Get a second opinion, no matter whether it's with our firm, with a different firm, you need that opinion, a different set of eyes to make sure you have the right limousine driver. Because if you have the wrong limousine driver, you might be thinking about making a lot of money and you're gonna invest money risky, but you find out that you your risk becomes to be a disaster because you shouldn't take risk. And I'd love to help anybody out there if you're having, these are questions, where should you invest? What you invest in? Can you retire? You know what? Get a second, maybe a third opinion. I guarantee, like the client today, stage four cancer, they got other opinions. And unfortunately, all the opinions added up. The question is, how does your retirement look? Can you retire? Can you and your significant other, your sweetie, Retire in dignity, not in disgrace, with relaxation versus stressation. And so I think that's the challenge for you. You're listening right now, especially going to the, into the uh, holiday seasons. This is a stressful time, even though it's supposed to be an enjoyable time. Christ was born, came. That's why we're celebrating, for those of you who celebrate Christmas, a wonderful time of the year. But when it's retirement and you're seeing your portfolio drop, are you missing out on the Christmas spirit? 
on the enjoyment of your retirement. If you're not, you should. And having a stress-free, less worrisome retirement. 609-488-4646. If you have questions, Scott has answers. 609-488-4646. Coming up, four keys to a comfortable retirement. This is Financial Insanity, out-of-the-box thinking for your financial sanity. Hi, this is Bonnie from McLean Advisory Group, wishing you comfort, hope, and joy. Happy holidays. Thanks for listening. Scott McLean at McLean Advisory Group often talks about the difference between retirement savings and retirement income. It isn't necessarily how much money you have saved that's most important. It's having a steady stream of income in retirement no matter how long you live. Scott has strategies that can help you create consistent monthly income for the rest of your life. He can help you make important decisions today so you can have the income you need in retirement. Having a big nest egg is great, but how will it provide you with the income you need for as long as you live? The number to get more information from Scott at McLean Advisory Group is 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. Turn your portfolio into a plan with help from Scott McLean. 609-488-4646. Investing involves risk. Firm offers insurance services. Investment advisory services are offered through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. Who is most likely to be comfortable and confident with their retirement? Doesn't that sound nice? Well, there are a few things you can do to help secure your financial future. Scott with us to break it all down. Let's start here. As the Employee Benefit Research Institute did do a study, found that retirees who say they feel comfortable in retirement have done the same four things. How about that? So we're going to share those four keys with you all today. The first one is going into retirement with little or no debt. Well, you know what? This is the biggest challenge I face. I had a beautiful couple come in yesterday. They were 80 and 84. They had fifty thousand dollars to their name and i asked him how long you've been retired oh scott we retired in 2003 mm. oh i'm so excited for you almost what that uh, what's that 20 plus years and uh tell me about your situation they had a two hundred thousand dollar mortgage they were spending as she said uh well scott we're only spending uh, uh out of our accounts a thousand dollars a month I said, I'm thinking, okay, and we're living our social security. So I bought that. I bought into that. Mm -hmm. And I said, do me a favor. Could I see your tax return? This is where the three blind mice come in, Alex. I asked to look at the tax return. Alex, the tax return showed me they were pulling out $24,000 a month. Oof. They had $50,000 left. I had, a, I had to give them the bad news. And I said, well, how long have you been with your advisor? Oh, we've been with him since 2003. 2004 when we retired i said when he or she got with you on a yearly basis to explain how money works and how your money's going to last what did they say and they said well they just said move my money around alex they had their money in the stock market yep and it risky and they were down 20 percent year to date 20 percent i said well wait a minute wait a minute last year the market was up almost 20 percent so you were spending the earnings I didn't tell what I was seeing on the tax return, Alex. If you have a tax return, number one, and you have debt, pay attention. Because when I looked at the tax return, I looked at the debt situation. I said, you know, you guys are taking out $2,000 a month out of your savings. You have a $200,000 mortgage. And when you pass away to the lovely young man of 84 years old, I said, if you pass away, your wife is going to have to make some serious decisions. And so the serious decision is you got to sell the house. You got to downsize. You got to move in with the kids, but no one had that. I call it a come to Jesus meeting. Let's talk about the brass tax. If you have debt right now, let's focus on it. And when you pay down debt, you don't pay down the highest interest rate. The biggest mistake is you pay the highest interest rate card when you should do 
write this down. If you're listening, if you can remember one thing right now, just one thing, rolling debt. I want to roll down or pay down my debt through the snowball effect, the snowball effect of paying down debt. This is critical. If you need help on that and you have debt, please feel free to call me, call me off the air, 609-488-4646. Scott, when you say snowball, how do I snowball my debt? How do I pay it off quicker? Please call me. Unlike this couple I had, they didn't call me at 609-488-4646. What they did was they kept living the same life and the financial advisor in their life never guided them through all of the areas, looking at the tax returns, the legal documents, as well as the portfolio. So snowball debt. Number two, the most important, of course, paying down your debt. The most important thing, of course, is paying off as you snowball down the debt. How much cash do we have in the sideline? I asked this lovely couple, oh, we have a couple thousand dollars, but we pay our bills off every month. Well, we just refinanced, Scott. Oh, is that to pay back the credit cards? Yes. How much in credit card debt do you have now? They said $8,000 in credit card debt. So what they're doing is they're using the credit card. They don't feel the impact of the debt until it comes due. Then they pull the money out of the IRA accounts, causing more taxation. This is double dumb. So please, Alex, you you brought a big point on the first thing in retirement. Let's take a look at the debt. Let's Let's go ahead and have a wrestling match with the debt. And let's go ahead and get this in control. And we're talking here today with Scott McClain about the four keys to a comfortable retirement. And Scott, I must say, I saw you on TV the other day, obviously know about the radio show. We know about the book. You're everywhere, but it's very important to you to educate people and just talk about that, Scott, about about getting in front of people and, and why you think that that's important. You know, I think that's my calling, Alex. Uh, I, I love uh, educating people. My one area was heading out into the field, the mission field, and of course, uh, called into, into this financial industry. And what I found is the lack of knowledge people have, and they need guidance. They don't need to be told. I am uh, the my favorite class, Alex. You'll never guess what it was. It was show and tell. <laughs> <laughs> because I could talk about something, show people things and show them how it works. And I was in kindergarten when my daddy brought back, to, you know, Trinity all over, all over the world and he traveled, he opened up plants and spoke six languages. My dad was brilliant. And, and, and one thing I waited for is when he got home and he opened his bag, he showed me presents. And when he gave, gave me a present, gave my sister a present, I was able to use that to show and tell. Show and tell is important because I need not to tell people what to do, but guide them into making smart, decisions with their money when it comes to retirement. This is where the lost art of advising is. People want to sell, but they don't want to educate. They want to tell, but they don't want to walk them through the valley of shadow of death because they think everything's okay. But meanwhile, they've got a left hook wave coming at them that could disaster them as the young couple I just spoke about. And I had to tell that young couple we just spoke about, Alex, that you need to sell your house, go to low income housing, use that money and or move in with your kids. I guarantee you they probably don't like me. And if they're listening right now, I love you. I'm giving you tough love because comfort. Sometimes you have to sacrifice comfort for how do I make sure that if my wife passed away, if I pass away, husband passed away in this case, how can they survive and enjoy life? Isn't that what it's about, Alex? Absolutely. No, 100%. And the less you have to worry about, the better. And one of the things we worry about the most, run out of money in retirement. That's a real concern. 609-488-4646. And so talking about four keys to a comfortable retirement. First one, going into retirement with little or no debt. That sounds tremendous. The second key to a comfortable retirement, having a clear spend down strategy. Scott, what does that mean? spend down strategy, not only spending down your debt, but spending down your expenses. Alex, uh, if, if, if you're out there right now listening, I, I'm not preaching to you. I, I promise you I'm not. Um, I, I'm trying to help guide people make smart decisions. And, and spend down means, well, maybe to me it means something important. Can I live on a lower means? If you're living on, let's say, $100,000, and then all of a sudden you look at your retirement, You think you have a ton of cash in there and the advisor says using the rule of four, four percent. Well, do you have enough to live comfortably? Maybe you need to start cutting things out. Some people have said, well, I'm going to go ahead and 
just buy one car this year. And my wife and I, or my spouse and I, my significant other and I, we can use one car. Maybe it's not going out as much. Maybe it's sharing. And I mean, you know, as we did in our church, go have a covered dish dinners and, and all get together and still have fun. Or maybe have people come over and share spending down. Maybe you don't have to buy as much clothes, maybe getting a smaller house as we're talking to many people. So spending down strategy and paying attention to the numbers, both spouses need to get together and look at what they're spending and put a spreadsheet together. If you don't want a spreadsheet, cause no one likes the, the cuss word, the, the B cuss word called budget. Uh, no one wants a budget, but I can promise you this when you're coming off a juicy income and now you're retiring, you need to sit down and figure out, what can we live with? What can't we live with? And the biggest cuss word is this, Alex. The biggest cuss word uh, on top of the word budget is no. When your kids want to borrow money from you and you're spending money, this couple was telling me, well, my lovely child was getting a divorce, so we helped him out. What'd you do? Well, we paid her debt down. Is that where the money went? Yeah, a lot of it did. We wanted to help her. I said, why'd you do that? Because that's our child. We wanted to help out. Well, the emotions and practicality I'm not telling you guys to, to hate me on the radio right now, but you got to look at this is about you and your, and your love. If you're married, your lovely wife or partner, you've got to pay attention. You've got to, got to pay attention to your money. And as you look at your money, can we afford giving our child $10,000, $20,000 to pay their debt down? What does that look like? If you don't have a financial advisor, run the numbers several different ways. But if you don't have an advisor and want to ask a question, please feel free to call me off the air, 609-488-4646. The reason why is because you might just need another uh, opinion. I'm not going to tell you what to do if you decide to call me at 609-488-4646. But what I'll do is I'll give you my input. And 41 years being in this industry, I've seen a lot of uh, people make decisions that maybe they should have asked somebody else. Uh, because I can tell you the decisions you make today may affect you like in this couple and it's affecting them right now. They could be running out of money. Don't put yourself in this situation, Alex. They don't have to do it. Feel free to give me a call if you wish to, but I want to help you. Hey, Scott, a lot of times it's just that big picture. It's just not being able to see the big picture and you're, and you, you know, wanting to solve that problem right now, wanting to help that person in the immediate, wanting to satisfy this <laughs> desire right now. But Scott, it's really about the big picture and how it all you comes together. You couldn't have said that better, Alex. I, and when I see the big picture, it happened to me yesterday uh, when I was heading to the office and, and I asked my wife, you know, where, where I need to get a, where's the napkins I got to take with me as I'm, as I'm driving to work from the farm out in Southampton. And I said, where, where's the daggum napkins? And she goes, Scott, it's right in front of you. Hmm. There's a big roll <laughs> of yeah. napkins in this. Right in front of your face, I, Scott. It was, Alex, it was dead. I mean, like I'm looking all over the place. Sure. I'm running to go out. I want to be on time. And it was right in front of me. If it's, if your retirement is right in front of you, you probably need someone to run it by because they're, they are able to, if they're an advisor, they should not be wanting to sell you products. They should be wanting to help solve a problem or a solution or a problem that may be coming down. This is the difference between an advisor and a salesperson. Why advisors should be looking at the taxes, the legal and the financial, and then possibly problems coming down the road. And so I can tell you right now, Alex, uh, you know, when you look at the spend down, if you've been doing this thing as long as I have and other advisors out there, they've been doing it a while. The question is, how are you getting guided? Not sold a product because anybody can sell a product, but educated on what to do. You don't want to buy sneakers when it's snowing out. You probably want to buy boots <laughs> unless you're going to play basketball in the gym then you might want sneakers but again buy the right tools for the right time 609-488-4646 if you have questions you can call scott 609-488-4646 just add a dot com for the website breaking down the four keys to a comfortable retirement more financial insanity on the way Scott McLean at McLean Advisory Group often talks about the difference between retirement savings and retirement income. 
It isn't necessarily how much money you have saved that's most important. It's having a steady stream of income in retirement no matter how long you live. Scott has strategies that can help you create consistent monthly income for the rest of your life. He can help you make important decisions today so you can have the income you need in retirement. Having a big nest egg is great, but how will it provide you with the income you need for as long as you live? The number to get more information from Scott at McLean Advisory Group is 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. Turn your portfolio into a plan with help from Scott McLean. 609-488-4646. Investing involves risk. Firm offers insurance services. Investment advisory services are offered through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. A study from the Employee Benefit Research Institute finding retirees who consider themselves to be comfortable in retirement have done these same four things. And so, Scott, first, let's recap the first two keys to a comfortable retirement we went over. Number one, going into retirement with little or no debt. And then number Beautiful. two, creating a clear spin down strategy. So taking us to the next key, having some sort of employer provided assistance. Talk about that one a little bit, Scott. You definitely want to get the employer provided assistance like your 401k. If you have a 401k, make sure you're matching it. You might have a 403b, which is a nonprofit, same as working as the 401a. And you want to make sure the money's put in the right investment choice, especially now. In addition to that, if you're, uh, I think it's 59 and a half and older, you're allowed to do what's called a in-service withdrawal. Most plans offer an in-service withdrawal. Let me give you a heads up. Based on the stock market taking a real uh, uh, challenging time this, this, past, uh, this past year and perhaps going forward for another few years, I believe, perhaps if you're in retirement, you're, you're planning on retirement, you take that money in the 401k, 403b, if you're over 59 and a half, and you roll it out of the plan and put it into some guaranteed accounts. That's right. Or put it into an area, let's say roll it into an IRA. And as you roll it over into an IRA, you still contribute to your 401k, 403b, 457, your TSP. Still keep contributing, but on the money that you pull out and put into IRA, you have the universe of investments to go into. Let me tell you what a universe means. You're not just stuck to the quote portfolio they offer, the mutual funds they offer. You're able to go outside into an IRA account, and in this IRA account, you're able to get individual stocks, bonds, preferreds, REITs, BDCs, MLPs, all sorts of yummy types of investments. Maybe you're going to buy managed futures or hedge funds or, or maybe commodities. You need to be able to, I should say, flexible and able to go when in most of these plans, they don't have it. The second thing is on, on top of that, uh, maximizing your 401k out and then doing an in-service rollover to perhaps other vehicles out there that are perhaps they've got some guaranteed vehicles like I've seen lately of 5% and, and going up. Maybe you need to participate in the prepaid legal plan because you need your legals done. Perhaps you get a, a prepaid legal plan that's very pennies on a dollar or maybe you're going to go into the, uh, I think it's called the Hyatt uh, Hyatt uh, legal plan. Great product. See if they have that. And I would definitely look at that to keep your legal expenses down for your will, power of attorney, living will, healthcare directive. Maybe you need a trust. So your legal aspects and fun that we talk about your healthcare savings account, your HSA, as long as it's portable or you're using it for yourself, the spouse, make sure the HSA is funded or the FSA. The FSA is called the flexible spending account. I love when I see people are really cranking that up because they're cranking it up means putting money into it as long as you can take it with you. You don't want to put it in and then lose it. So you might need to speak to your, your department there uh, at your work and to see if it's, uh, you know, I don't want to use it or lose it. You don't want that plan uh, unless you are have a lot of medical expenses. Then you're tax deferring the money. In other words, you get to write it off on your income. And so you make 50,000 a year and you put $10,000 a year in the HSA. That means your income shows you made 40,000. It's just a tax play. So when your financial advisor looks at the tax return, he or she can guide you again, 
look at all the different areas when we talk about the employer benefit information, as Alex, you well said. And then again, what is your definition of comfortable when you retire? Get that number we just spoke about. Get understand, you know what? You've lived rich, you've lived poor, but you're comfortable. What is your definition of comfortable? Not your kid's definition, not your uh, best friend's definition, your definition of comfortable. Talking about four keys to having a comfortable retirement. And we just went over the having an employee provided assistance. We're discussing a pension. And if we're talking about having guaranteed income, you got to throw out Social Security as well. So that, oh, can, yeah. <laughs> that can be an option for folks. And, and how do we make sure people are making the right decision there, Scott? Alex, I, I forgot that. I'm, thanks for bringing it up because we do Social Security planning. I mean, it's a well good detail. Planning. Yeah, it's part of and it, I, though, right? And the mistake they could make is the couple. I got off the phone with uh, uh, this couple this morning at 8.30. And this couple, uh, his wife is taking Social Security. She is 72. And her income right now on her Social Security, and I've spoken to this couple several times, she is receiving right now $1,800 a month on her Social Security. And she's 72. Her husband, we were doing this uh, this, this meeting this morning, her husband is 68, still working, not taking Social Security. And I, and I asked him, I said, uh, why aren't you taking the spousal benefit? You see, he can claim the spousal benefit. He said, what do you mean? I said, well, I'm looking at my notes and every year I've been asking you about this, take the spousal benefit because you do qualify because the laws have changed on Social Security. Well, she was getting 1800 a month. He is past the full retirement age, FRA. If you look it up on your uh, on your statements, guys and girls out there. Well, hers was eighteen hundred. Did you know? And I said, why don't you apply for the spousal benefit, not your benefit, right now? And I'd like you to right now go ahead, and you're able to take eight hundred dollars extra a month. Keep working, but you have an extra eight hundred dollars now. Put that in your four hundred one k. In his case, the FSA. And I said, increase your savings. He said, I could do that because of all of the choices that you have in Social Security. By the way, Alex, there's 587 different ways to take Social Security. Can you imagine how people get, get confused? Yeah. And the number one way, Alex, versus the number two could mean an extra $100,000 of income over one's lifetime. So mm. choosing the right Social Security when you go into retirement, this is like the three legged stool, cash in the bank, savings or retirement account and pension money, and then of course your social security. Those three entities, and I throw in one other entity, which is not the leg, but taxation. How can I make my retirement the most comfortable for my spouse, my significant other, my partner? How can I make that? And this is where you have to look at your investments, your savings. Maybe you wanna move and build that new house Let's take a look at the whole picture, not just one piece of the picture, which I see these daggum investment guys right. and girls. They look at one thing. What can I get versus how can I help? Well, and again, it's that big picture, Scott. Like we mentioned earlier, it's how everything plays together. And, and when you're making your Social Security decision, it's, it's the big picture as well. Yeah, one thing might look real good in the immediate or in a couple of years, but over the long haul, what is going to make the most sense? And so as we wrap up this segment here, give people uh, an opportunity if they have questions, how can they get a hold of you, Scott? Please feel free to call me 609-488-4646. That's my radio studios. You'll get me. Now, if you don't get me, please, when you call 609-488-4646, speak to my staff. They are wonderful. And see, I'd like to speak with Scott. I know he's busy because we are. We're servicing our clients. They're number one. Tell them you want to speak to Scott and give them a quick heads up what it's a little bit about. And I will make time to speak to you off the air uh, in a private conversation. Or perhaps you would like to say, Sky, I want to come in and have a and have a come to Jesus meeting. Okay, great. Bring you and your significant other if you're married, if you're or you maybe have a partner, come on in I'm here to help you. Scott McLean and the amazing team at McLean Advisory Group, 609-488-4646.com if you want to see them online as well. This is Financial Insanity, out-of-the-box thinking for your financial sanity. More on the way. 
Hi, this is Bonnie from McLean Advisory Group, wishing you comfort, hope, and joy. Happy holidays. Thanks for listening. Scott McLean at McLean Advisory Group often talks about the difference between retirement savings and retirement income. It isn't necessarily how much money you have saved that's most important. It's having a steady stream of income in retirement no matter how long you live. Scott has strategies that can help you create consistent monthly income for the rest of your life. He can help you make important decisions today so you can have the income you need in retirement. Having a big nest egg is great, but how will it provide you with the income you need for as long as you live? The number to get more information from Scott at McLean Advisory Group is 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. Turn your portfolio into a plan with help from Scott McLean. 609-488-4646. Investing involves risk. Firm offers insurance services. Investment advisory services are offered through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. Well, if you've been with an advisor for a while and you're thinking about making a change, there are five signs it is finally time to fire your financial advisor, or maybe you're just considering getting a second opinion. We're going to hear about that now. Scott McLean here on Financial Insanity. Thank you so much for joining us. And Scott. Thanks, Alex. Yes, this is one of those times where, you know, maybe somebody's out there thinking, gosh, I don't know if this person is right for me, or maybe they're thinking, I've been hearing about the value of getting a second opinion and and maybe one of these notes here or one of these signs will resonate with you. So let's let's jump into it here, Scott. So the first sign that it could be time to fire your current advisor, they are not acting in your best interest. I know that is so important, Scott. It's really important, Alex. I, when I hire a limousine driver to bring me to the airport or bring me somewhere, my best interest is to get there on time, safely, securely, with a nice, smooth, comfortable ride. The challenge is in this volatile market, are they paying attention to it? Or maybe they're acting on their benefit. Let's get the highest rate of return, but that's speeding up and slowing down and speeding up on that limousine. Well, if they're not acting in the best interest, they're not a fiduciary. They're, they're selling products that may have their pocketbook. Are they ethically bound by, as, as we are, as a fiduciary? Are they obligated to really ask lots of deep, concerning questions? I think that's the number one. Are they acting in your best interest out there listening to me? Are they, are, are they just, don't worry, hang in there, like they said when I was in the uh, early uh, 80s. Hang in there, don't worry, it'll come back. In the year 2000, hang in there, don't worry, it'll come back. That's what they told us to say, but here it is, uh, 2022. Those statements doesn't work when you're in retirement or nearing retirement. So number one is, Alex, is are they really looking at your best interest? Are they asking about your spouse and their health? Asking lots of really come to Jesus, I call it, questions. Are they really getting down in the dirt? Uh, maybe you have a child that's disabled. Are they thinking about that child? How are they going to protect it? Maybe their lights are twinkling. They're getting dementia. Are they listening to your best interest, not just growing the money? That's really important. They're looking maybe at commissions versus really advising. That's really important. Well, and like a, a driver that maybe is getting gas after picking you up as opposed to doing before. They're not acting in your best interest. Like you want an advisor to be thinking about me instead of thinking about yourself. Absolutely. Now, number two here, as we're going through five signs that it could be time to fire your advisor, they dismiss your input, Scott. You wouldn't want that. I don't know anybody uh, in this time. It's time really to leave uh, dismissing the input. Um, I, I think if I was at Christmas time, if I wanted a new tennis racket, I remember the famous Arthur Ashe tennis racket. I played tennis a lot when I was younger and I really wanted a tennis racket. Well, if I got a ping pong racket, I wanted a tennis racket, different, different, different game. You hit the ball across the little fence or the big fence. The question is, did mom and dad dismiss me? And that really makes a challenge for, how I feel about things. You didn't listen, mom, dad, or you didn't listen, Mr. Or Mrs. Advisor. You see, with the expertise of asking about the taxes, ask about the legal questions, ask about the 
financial and investment questions. Maybe you were aggressive a few years ago when the market was taking off, but now it's going down and they don't listen to you because they say, well, it's going to come back. Hang in there. Don't worry. They absolutely didn't listen and maybe they respond, but they didn't take action. And this is a real problem in the industry today because uh, hopefully the market's come back. It's, it's had a real challenge. I would like, if anybody's out there listening, you'd like a, a little discussion. Let's have a little talk. I'd love to talk to you off the air. Uh, and if you'd like to ask some questions to me, I'll be happy to get a hold of you. You can actually leave it with Bonnie and Bonnie will set up a time to have you talk to us off the air at 609-488-4646. Because when you hire a financial advisor, not only number one, they were saying not acting in your best interest. And number two, are they listening or are they dismissing your input? In other words, maybe you had a child that has to move back in with you because they made a series of bad decisions and they're going through a financial challenge. Okay, that needs to be in the plan. That's why I think these financial plans are good for a short period of time, maybe a month or two, not for a long period of time because life happens. So number one, not acting in best interest. Number two, they dismiss your input. Please, this is important to discuss this if not on a yearly basis, at least once or twice, maybe four times a year if your life is really changing. Don't let your input get dismissed. Alex, now you had number three, yeah, which is really challenging. Uh, Alex, what have you heard out? What was number three, the biggest challenge you've heard? Sure, and what I'll say too is, and this kind of goes uh, two and three, kind of go hand in hand and to your point about a person like Bonnie. Bonnie is just such a great asset for you, a tremendous person to work with, to talk to, and uh, just a great person to have in your office and somebody yes, who will never be number three difficult to reach because yes. sure Scott you might be in and out of meetings with other fine folks and Bonnie is the person in your office to be there to help take those calls and guide clients to you and through the process but number three as far as five signs it could be time to fire your advisor they're difficult to reach you know Alex that's a wonderful uh, choice I was gonna bring that up I had different words but your words are much better than mine Difficult to reach. You know, we've actually just hired two more people because our practice is growing, which I'm so, so pleased that's growing. We get so many of our clients referring us and, and, and not being able to, the number one goal is to take care of our clients. Number two goal is get new business. And of course we got to get new business, to keep our business going. But luckily we don't work out of the back of our car. We don't travel to someone's house. We don't, uh, we have to have them come here. I'd I used to do that in the early years of my practice from 1982, 83, 84. Uh, and actually stopped doing that in around 1995, 96, where people started coming in. I just could not make my time worthwhile. So if they're working on the back of the car, God bless them. But if they don't have a staff and someone to follow up with the questions, we're trying to train our new staff members to answer a lot of questions because we don't want people hanging out there. Just today, uh, we had the beautiful uh, husband pass away and we're now discussing with them Okay, with his wife, okay, how do we plan your income? You've just lost your husband's Social Security since yours was higher. He had a pension. Her, his pension dropped down from uh, $1,000 a month to $450 a month. So we have to make that up. We're trying to figure that out. You know what? They need to reach somebody. And that's important. That's why we have to have a staff. So I think that's really important because, you know, again, being in that limousine, you want to be able to communicate with people which way to go, how to get there. They think they know where to go, but maybe you have a different area. So if you can't reach them, they dismiss your impact. They are not acting in your best interest. Well, are they difficult to reach? And this is really, really a challenge I hear. It's almost like you buy a product at the bank thinking the bank's going to protect you. You set it and forget it. And that is not the area because life as a fiduciary, as an advisor, it has a lot of different segments, which is legal, tax, and finance. Well, and if you want to reach Scott, you can at 609-488-4646. Again, the number 609-488-4646. Going through five signs, it could be time to fire your advisor. Number one, they're not acting in your best interest. Number two, they dismiss your input. Number three, they're difficult to reach. Number four, Scott, they don't give you the details. Now, I don't want all the details, but heck, if I'm giving you some of my money or a lot of my right. money, 
I, I would like to kind of know what's going on and, and what you're doing with it and not have it be a bunch of mumbo jumbo. You know, whether they're investing uh, uh, $5,000 or $500,000 or a million dollars, each person is not, Alex, a cookie cutter. Now, when I say cookie cutter, Alex, what that means for those of you listening, let's say you have mutual funds and you bought what's called target date mutual funds. They, they call it the 2020 2025, 2030. In other words, when are you going to retire and say, well, I'm going to retire in 2035. Okay, you click it, set it, forget it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not good. You need to really pay attention to those areas uh, because you really, they got to dig down for more details as to how much do you want to pull out? If it's for income, do we want money for our special needs child? What happens if you become disabled? These are question, in-depth questions that could lead down the estate planning role, which we do at our firm. I think you know that, Alex. We, we do that really. We got great, great people. Maybe they have uh, other types of investment tools they didn't tell us about or didn't tell the advisor about. They need to pull that in, which we did just the other day, or they had an extra $30,000, which didn't change their life, but they said, oh, Scott, by the way, we have an extra 30000 Great. Let's put that over here. You take care of it. Go put it in a 3% account at Ally Bank if you wish to use them. Great liquid. But again, people's details are so important. Most of the times what I find, Alex, is if I don't ask the questions, they may for not even remember to ask. Or if I don't ask diving deep questions, by the way, who does your money go to? Oh, you want to make sure it's protected because your daughter has a spendthrift problem? Well, maybe we need a spendthrift trust because if she gets it all at once, she's going to blow it. Or maybe your son is married to a, uh, a person, a woman, a man that they don't like, and you want to protect that money from that person. Maybe we need to have that discussion. Again, this is a time to for the advisor that I hope, if before you advise them, are they asking you really deep down, I call it intimate questions, intimate meaning intimately about your finances to make sure you preserve your money. The money goes to the right place. And today's could be different than two years from now. So again, a tight lip will, you know, uh, will sink a ship. Well, could it sink a ship if you know there's a hole in it? Well, let's go tell the captain we got a problem. So again, I'm not sure what you guys are doing out there listening. That's right. You right now that are listening to me, you got to give all the information out there. They're not asking. That's why when I wrote the book, The Three Blind Mice, how the financial planning process leads your money to a mousetrap, I bring up 11 different flags that pop up. And uh, for those of you listening right now, if you'd like to get a copy of my book, I'd love to get it in your hands uh, any way possible. Just give Bonnie a call because these are some questions that Alex brought up the five different areas. Number one, not acting in your best interest. Fire him or your advisor. Number two, they dismiss your input. They're not listening, trying to have their own agenda, not your agenda. And by the way, your agenda may change as we just spoke. Number three was they're difficult to reach. And lastly, well, number four is they don't give you clear or all the details. But there's one more. One more, Scott. Just in. There's one more that's really, really, really important that ties it all together. Alex, what was that number five? I think that you found well, when you're speaking to your mom and dad and other advisors, uh, families. Absolutely. We got just a couple minutes left. We want to go over the last one, and this one's important. And for you, uh, it's something that's easy. You're a people person. You're a social guy. You're easy to get along with, and you want to get Thank to you. know people. Um, and this is the last one. So five signs it could be time to fire your advisor, the last one. They don't take the time to get to know you. Why is that important, Scott? Guys, listen, if you're listening to me right now, if you invest any money, any money with an advisor, the first time you meet them, you need to run. If they beg you for money, you need to run. You need to get to know them, know their personality, their role. It just may not be a good fit. And if you're a married, have a special uh, partner, you know what? You guys need to talk about it on your own. I would do no business with anybody. I tell it to clients when they come visit me, Alex. We will not do business today. I want to get to know you. I want to know if I can help you. I want to know if we're a good fit, a good fit for our firm and a good fit for you. Because if, if something happens to you, I need to know how our firm can best serve you so they don't take time to get to know you. You need to get your questions written, not just are you a fiduciary. That's important. Please. 
609-488-4646. This was, again, the, the top subjects, the top area that people want to make a shift in their advisors. It's time to look at them. Number one, they're not acting in your best interest. Number two, they dismiss your input. Number three, they're difficult to reach. Very important. Number four, they don't give you the details. They need to give you all the details. And lastly, really don't take time to get to know you. And that's why I love to meet people. So I look forward to hearing from you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to those of you. And as you plan the New Year's resolution, this could be a wonderful time to get another opinion. This presentation may contain information which has undergone regulatory or other significant change since its original recording. The information on this program is educational in nature and is not intended to be a recommendation for any specific investment product, strategy, plan, tax, or legal advice. Information presented is believed to be factual and up-to-date, but we do not guarantee its accuracy. Discussions and answers to questions do not involve the rendering of personalized investment advice and is limited to the dissemination of general information and may not be suitable for members of the listening audience. Communications such as this are not impartial and are provided in connection with advertising and marketing for McLean advisory group. Prior to making any investment or financial decisions, an investor should always seek advice from a financial, insurance, legal, or tax professional. McLean Advisory Group and or Scott McLean offer investment advisory and financial planning services through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. This radio show is a paid placement. 